Hello students, I am your master, Mr. Sheikh Mohammed Zubair. Today in Geography, we will be studying Chapter 8, Economy and Occupations. An economy of a country depends on the economic activities carried out in the country. You have learnt that there are three types of economic activities in an economy. India has a higher national income than Brazil. Brazil is one of the world giants of mining, agriculture, and manufacturing and it has a strong and rapidly growing service sector. On the other hand, India is still dependent on agriculture though service sector is also increasing in India. Like the Indian economy, the Brazilian economy is also a mixed economy. Both the Indian and the Brazilian economies are developing economies. Their per capita incomes are very less as compared to the developed countries like the USA. It is interesting to note that though India has a higher national income as compared to Brazil, the per capita income of India is lower than Brazil. The United States is a developed country. The population of this country is well educated. This country has the strength of many patent, modern technology and mechanical strength. This country is far ahead of Brazil and India in terms of national per capita income. India and Brazil are developing countries. These countries are progressing in the field of technological advancement, education and industry. The national per capita income of the countries is low. India's per capita income seems to be even lower as India's size is very large. Now we will study about the agriculture in Brazil. In Brazil, agriculture is the main occupation of the people living in the highlands and coastal areas. Favorable climate and topography make it possible for growing a variety of crops. Rice, and maize are the main cereal crops. Production of maize is largely concentrated in the central part. Commercial crops like coffee cocoa rubber soya bean and sugar cane are cultivated on a large scale. Brazil is the largest exporter of coffee and soya bean in the world. The major states growing coffee are Minas Gerais and Sao Paulo. 
besides these crops production of fruits like bananas pineapples oranges and other citrus fruits is also done cattle sheep and goats are also reared in the savanna grasslands in the south consequently meat and dairy products are produced on a large scale mining the eastern part of brazil is rich in various types of minerals iron ore manganese nickel copper bauxite tungsten diamonds etc in accessibility lack of knowledge of potential reserves of resources dense forest etc are factors which have led to limitations in mining in the interior part of the country nevertheless because of increasing demand in the country mining work has developed in the highland region let's learn about fishing brazil has a sea coast of around 7400 km and excellent fishing grounds off the south atlantic coast the meeting of the warm brazil current and the cold falkland current off the sea coast of southeastern brazil makes it a good fishing ground traditionally fishing has been carried on by small groups of individual fishermen using primitive techniques and equipments but now large vessels are being used swordfish shrimp lobsters sardines are mainly caught the fish resources of the amazon river are not exploited much and fishing only take place at a small scale now we will study about agriculture in india unlike brazil india's agriculture contributes more towards gdp and also engages a large chunk of population around 60% of land in india is under cultivation its enormous expanse of level plains rich soils high percentage of cultivable land wide climatic variety long growing season etc provide a strong base to agriculture in india agriculture has been a long standing activity indian agriculture is mainly subsistence type india produces crops like rice wheat maize sorghum and millets as major food crops plantation of tea coffee rubber and cash crops like sugarcane cotton jute etc are also produced India is a, also a major producer of variety of fruits and vegetables.
let's learn about fishing in india let us see some pictures of different kind of breeds of fishes that are found in india sardines mackerel bombay ducks prawns silver belly these are some breeds of fishes that are found in india fishing play an important role in the economy of india india is one of the largest producers of fish both marine and inland fisheries help in augmenting augmenting means increasing food supply generating employment raising nutritional level and earning foreign exchange fish forms an important part of the diet of many people living in the coastal areas of kerala west bengal orissa andhra pradesh tamil nadu goa and maharashtra India has about 7500 kilometers of coastline marine fishing accounting for about 40% of the total annual production of fish and being confined to coastal waters in the west from Kutch Malabar coast to Coromandel coast in the east major fishes are sardines mackerel bombay duck that is bombil and prawns on the eastern coast the important fish are horse mackerels clupeds and silver bellies fresh water fishing is carried on in rivers canal irrigation channels tanks ponds lakes etc silver bellies carp that is chopra etc are major fresh water varieties about 60% of the country's total fish production comes from inland fisheries now we will learn about mining in india the chota nagpur plateau in india is a big storehouse of different minerals Mining is the main occupation of the people there. Coal is mined in Korba in Chhattisgarh and in eastern Maharashtra. Mineral oil wells are found in Digboy in Assam, Mumbai High in Arabian Sea near Maharashtra. Kalol and koili in gujarat reserves of mineral and natural gas have been discovered at the mouth of river godavari stones like marble are found in rajasthan and kadappa in andhra pradesh let's learn about the industries in brazil major industries include iron and steel production automobile assembly petroleum processing chemical production and cement making technologically based industries have been the most dynamic in recent years but have not outpaced traditional industries similarly food processing like sugar industries cotton textiles silk and woolen industries have developed well 
most large industry is concentrated in the south and southeast the northeast is traditionally the poorest part of brazil but it is beginning to attract new investments let's learn about the industries in brazil before that let's have a look at different logos of different industries ongc that is oil and natural gas cooperation this is for steel ra is for milk this is for silk textile this is will this will be found on fertilizers this is for khadi textile rashtra agro and railway engine now let us learn about it in detail the distribution of industries in india is highly uneven this is so partly on account of e uneven distribution of the necessary raw materials and power resources and partly due to the con concentration of enterprises financial resources and other necessary conditions in large towns jharkhand orissa adjoining chatisgarh and madhya pradesh parts of rajasthan karnataka and tamil nadu account for most of the reserves of metallic minerals this area therefore particularly the northeastern part of the peninsula has a very high concentration of heavy metallurgical industries with almost all the steels centers situated here availability of large quantities of coal and refractory materials along with cheap power from the damodar valley cooperation and a number of thermal power projects has added to the advantages rajasthan has copper lead and zinc karnataka has steel manganese and aluminium and tamil nadu has aluminium metal industries agro based industries including cotton jute and sugar are heavily concentrated in the raw material producing areas the forest based industries including paper plywood matches resin and lac are increasingly finding concentration in the forest areas of various states the coastal belt of kerala has a heavy concentration of coir copra and fish canning industries koili dikboy noonmati and bongai gaon refineries are situated close to the petroleum producing areas and mathura and barani refineries in the interior away from the coast and oil producing areas The distribution of cement industry is also highly conditioned by the availability of raw materials. Gujarat, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu produce the bulk of salt in the country. Mechanical engineering, electricals, automobile, fertilizer and numerous consumer industries which show little bias for raw material have come up all over the country with heavier concentration near the big cities. Lastly, we will learn about the trade in Brazil. Brazil mainly exports iron ore co coffee cocoa cotton sugar tobacco oranges and bananas while it imports machinery chemical products fertilizers wheat heavy vehicles mineral oil and lubricants major trading partners are germany usa canada italy argentina and saudi arabia and india trade marks are about 25% of gdp now we will learn about trade in india 
India mainly exports tea, mangoes, coffee, spices, leather and leather goods, iron ore, cotton and silk textiles, while it mainly imports petroleum, machines, pearls and precious stones, gold and silver, paper, medicines, etc. India's major trading partners are the UK, the USA, Germany, Japan, China, Russia, etc. Indian companies set up industrial centers all over Brazil and invested a lot of capital. The Indian companies have invested in such sectors as IT, pharmaceuticals, energy, agribusiness, mining, engineering and auto sectors. Brazil's footprint in India is smaller but important. The Brazilian companies have invested in automobiles, IT, mining, energy, biofuels, footwear sectors in India. Children, this is a short exercise which you are supposed to answer in your own words and keep it ready before the school reopens. Once the school begins, the respective subject teachers will take your books for corrections. I hope by this presentation you have learned the chapter easily. Thank you children and God bless.